All right, we are here with Mike Borgic from the Illinois Pork Producers Association. Mike, you guys are sponsoring the R Towns this summer, so tell us a little bit about why you chose to be part of this event. Well, what's great about the Art Town specials that we're doing all around the state of Illinois here, Central Illinois, is that it really focuses those small towns, which of course, agriculture is a huge part of these small towns, and so we're always trying to be out there supporting our industry, supporting our communities, and that's why this is such a great opportunity for us. Absolutely, and why pork for you? Why pork? Well, I grew up in it as part of my family. I've uh, been around it my entire life. And of course, it's just a great product for everybody to enjoy. I'm hoping later on today we'll talk about a few different recipes with our grill master for Pena here, and I think it'll be great for us. I think so too. But, you know, pork is not just good to eat. You can also play games with pork, even if you're using We can fake play. Bacon. And, and one thing I did forget to mention why pork? Bacon. I mean, that's the, that's the number one thing, of course, is bacon. So, what we've got here today is actually a bacon flipping game. Uh, so this is something that we've taken to a few events uh, over the last couple of years, and it's been really fun for kids and adults of all ages to play. Um, so what it essentially is, is we have our nice cast iron skillet here. We'll put right here on the table. Mm. So it's at a decent height, you know, almost countertop like you would be at home. But we're going to ask you to step away about maybe six or say maybe eight feet, something like that. Okay. And we're going to have you flip this bacon into the skillet and see what kind of shot you are. You know, I think it's so hot today. Do you think we could cook real bacon if we put this cast iron skillet if on we the put street? It in the sun, we probably could. We probably could. I think so too. Well, we've got Casey here who's going to be my probably fiercest competitor today. <laughs> so let's get started. Casey, All right. I will let you pick your spatula here. Okay. With that one? All right. And okay. here's a piece of bacon. So if you could just step over here, just right here on the edge of the sidewalk and give it a flip. Casey here, of course, is our new marketing manager with Illinois Pork Producers. Casey, why did you choose to join this great association? That is a good question, Erin. Pork has always been in my life as well. Grew up on a hog farm, so it's near and dear to my heart, and I'm just excited to be out here advocating for the industry and helping educate consumers. Well, you're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, Have you gotten one in yet? Uh, that's a no. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit of an overshoot. You got this, girlfriend. Oh. Going a little high. Now, this is not real bacon, <laughs> right? We're using no. fake rubber bacon? Yeah, yeah, this is some fake rubber bacon we found um, at a, a company that makes this stuff. And again, this has been a real fun... Uh, fun activity for people when we take it to different festivals and events and stuff. Uh, it just gets people interested in what's going on, brings them into our booth so we can talk to them about pork and about pigs. Okay. Oh, there, we go. there we got she one. goes. Beautiful. We got one. Mind right. if I have a go at this? There you go. Let me grab some of these extras. Okay. While you clean that up, can I get started here? Go for it. It's all in the wrist. That's right. This is harder than it looks. Okay. How many pieces of bacon are there? <laughs> How many chances well, do I have? Well, I've got about five here for you. <laughs> okay, flip. Oh. Is that a technique like you can go off the backboard, kind of like in basketball? No. We, we have had a backboard in the, in the past, uh, but didn't bring it with us today. Clearly, we, we don't give you I all the points there if you go off the backboard, though. Yes, oh, see, there 20. you go. Okay, you got one. I want to see what you got. I got. Okay, we'll try it. I'll clean up the, uh, the rubber bacon for you. There you go. You should be the real pro here since you're the one who brought the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said earlier, it's been about a year or so since I've done it. Well, okay, last Mike. Event. Really quickly, while you're repping this great t shirt, talk a little bit about what your shirt's all about because bacon never broke your heart, apparently. Bacon never broke my heart. It's always been a, a great thing to have, and of course, I miss all my shots, so you guys are better than I am. But the, uh, the t shirts here uh, is what we're giving away to our people who donate for the Pork Power Program, a program that's been around for over 10 years now where we donate ground pork to food banks across the state of Illinois. So all your contributions, if you make a donation to ilpork.com, if you, it's over $15, we'll send you a t-shirt. All that $15 or more, however much you want to donate, all of it goes into the program where it'll be used to um, help with some of the processing costs of some of the pigs and uh, the ground pork or purchase some ground pork itself to send to food banks because, of course, food banks is where people who need food uh, go to get it. And food banks have told us all over the place that they really need good protein. And, of course, pork is a great protein. Well, that is fabulous, Mike. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. We appreciate your sponsorship. And we will be back with more fun from Our Town Pena. Now to Heather. Hey, Aaron.